Main causes of air starting line explosion. 1. Air bottles not regularly drained off water and oil, the hydrocarbon, lubricating oil, finds its way from the air compressor into the compressed air pipelines in the form of thin layer of oil. If the source of heat comes into this pipeline because of hot gas leakage through a defective cylinder air starting valve, there is possibility of a violent explosion. 2. Leaky air starting valve, cylinder head, cylinder head air steering valves must be always maintained in proper working condition. Leakages through these valves into the main starting airline can create high pressurization resulting in severe explosion. Main starting air pipeline adjacent to the starting valves must be periodically inspected during engine operation. 3. Sudden opening of high pressure air in the starting line from main air bottle. The pipeline which is already fouled up with thin layer of hydrocarbon could be a potential danger for a violent explosion. 4. A sudden opening of high pressure air from air bottle at greater than 20 bar on the main engine starting line may provide the necessary source of heat. Safety devices fitted to limit damage from explosion. One relief valve to release excess pressure from starting air manifold. Two dot bursting cartridges on the starting line to release excessive pressure. These are relatively tamper proof, provided that the correct materials and replacement caps are used. They do vent the manifold completely and, unlike the above relief valve, which resets once the pressure has dropped, require some form of blanking off if the engine is to be started again. For this reason, it is usual for several caps to be fitted to the engine, one per unit, unlike the relief valve where one or two valves are the norm. Three. Flame arrestor to prevent flames from combustion chamber entering air starting manifold. 4. Robust and effective non return valve near the main starting valve to prevent pressure wave from traveling towards the air bottle. 5. This valve should be situated as close to the engine manifold as is practically possible so that any explosion in the starting air manifold is contained in as small a length of piping as possible, and should be prevented from getting back to the air bottles. Locating the non-return valve close to the engine limits the distance traveled and hence the build-up and speed of the explosive wave that would otherwise occur as the wave front travels down the pipeline seeking out oxygen and fuel. This high velocity wave front has been responsible in the past for destroying pipelines and valves. 5. It must therefore be contained to a smaller range as possible. 6. 1. Keep air bottles free of oil and water by regular draining and inspect periodically. 2. Main starting airline and all other high pressure lines must be drained and periodically inspected to prevent any accident. 3. Air starting valves in the cylinder head should be properly maintained. 3. Air starting valves in the cylinder head should be properly maintained. 4. Open high pressure air from the bottle to the line slowly. 5. Equalize the pressure by crack opening the main starting line valve on the bottle before fully opening. 